Hello and welcome to my channel. Now we are using the GoPro Hero 8 media module and this is the microphone, that little microphone up in the corner on the module. That's what we're using today. I hope you're all feeling strong. I'm out on a walk today, quite a long walk, continuing my training for the coast to coast. So I'd just like to thank you for all the likes and comments on my previous vlog which was the uh, quick vlog on the media module, the GoPro Hero 8 media module. So it costs about 80 quid, it's worth about 40. The microphone is okay, it needs a wind muff and that's what I'm talking to you about today. Um, I've made a wind muff for it and uh, I'm going to let you know how I did that. Hopefully it is working. I will tell you there's a lot more wind than there was on my first example, my first outing, uh, which you can watch, it's my previous vlog. Uh, there's a lot more wind up here, so that's why I have come back here. So hopefully they will come out with a wind muff dedicated for it. Uh, someone's got to come out with something fantastic, uh, but it can't be too big, you see. Otherwise, you may as well just put your Rode Video Micro on top. So this is a tiny little wind muff, and I'll let you see, and I'll tell you how I made it. So uh, let's have a walk around. So there's some deer in there, as you can see, captive deer. They are all enclosed behind that fence, which is a shame. I do like to see the wild deer. Maybe we will see some today, I doubt it. So yeah, the media module, what do I think of it? Yeah, it's, uh, it does what it says, I guess. The microphone that's built into it is just okay. I'm happy with it. I don't sound too happy, do I? I'm happy with it because it's, uh, it's made my vlogging system so small and so easy to change between my favourite microphones. And I will be using an external microphone most of the time because you get better audio, of course. But right now I am using the media module microphone because I'm testing to see if I have managed to create something that will cancel out the wind. We're getting a lot of crosswinds and I'm not going out of the way of the wind. I'm deliberately holding the, uh, the camera up into the wind. So we should get a good test. I'm finding it hard to actually speak. I think it's this thing. This thing, <laughs> this thing is really good. Seal skin, uh, seal skin as you can see. It's not actual seal skin. Uh, uh, seal skin little uh, hood. And it's really good, but I find it a bit restricting on my uh, talking. <laughs> but it really does keep you warm. So today I'm making my way up to the higher reservoir. I've just uh, walked past the one down below, which is Buttermere Spillway. You've seen me do vlogs there before. It's a great beauty spot, and I will be returning to there doing some vlogs in the future. But what I'm doing is I'm linking these three reservoirs, making one massive circular walk. So I haven't had a look at the very top one. I don't even know what they call it. And that gets up to uh, West Nab sort of way. So uh, I'm gonna look at that one today. So there's one below, which is behind you, way, way down there. And then there's this one, and uh, the purpose of this walk today, not only testing out the uh, GoPro Hero 8 media module, we're not only testing that, but I am discovering a new walk a little bit further up. So I hope you're going to join me. So come on, let's go. Oh. Do you know I nearly went then? <laughs> you can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go one of these days. So, <laughs> so let's continue with this walk. <laughs> Blimey neck. So I've managed to compose myself now. <laughs> I did really nearly fall then. So I feel like the reservoir that I'm heading towards is uh, going to be called Wesenden Head. If not, this one's Wesenden Head. So I've got the GoPro Hero 8 on the GoPro extension pole and we've got the uh, GoPro media module around it. And the microphone you're listening to is the media module microphone with a DIY wind muff around it. Uh, I know the microphone isn't brilliant, but it's better, just slightly better, than the one on the actual GoPro Hero 8, which I did experiment with. I tried to put a wind muff on that, kind of worked, but you were still dealing with canceling out the other microphones, and I was doing that in post, and it was a real pain. I think the reason this one's better is because you're sort of just dedicated to that one. 
and you're not really i don't think we're in stereo i think it just we're just recording out of that microphone the forward facing focus of that microphone so i think that's why we're getting better results okay so it's over an hour since i last spoke to you not for you but for me for an hour there has been no path at all i've managed to get back onto the path and it's been a hell of a walk up there but i'm still enjoying it and it's um, it's good practice for the coast to coast getting my legs nice and strong now i've stopped here because we <sighs> my mouth is actually numb i should have put my hood back up it's just too warm now i've stopped here because you can see how windy it is you can see the wind or this pole here so it is very windy and we're still recording on the media module microphone it's starting to rain a little bit i need to start picking up the pace and getting back i've still got quite a walk till i get back by the way i've switched to the ulanzi power handle because the battery got down to about 30 percent and it's working well with the ulanzi power handle as we speak so it does work with the power handle there's no issues there okay good time for another test of this little microphone uh, see how focused it is on my voice there's a waterfall behind me so i'm facing the waterfall i can see it and uh, the uh, sound of it i'm sure you can hear and uh, i'm going to turn around and uh, now the microphone the microphone is obviously facing the uh, waterfall so what's the sound like can you still pick me out or am i being drowned out by the waterfall and of course it should be better this way around uh, my voice is focused into the uh, tiny shotgun microphone i'm not too sure about that uh, shotgun microphone bit i'm not too sure whether we can class this as a shotgun microphone but uh, hopefully it's picking me up and we've still got the uh, DIY uh, dead cat around it. So I'm coming to the end of the vlog now. I've just got, uh, well, <laughs> I've still got quite a ways to go. Uh, yeah, right to the other side of that reservoir and beyond, to be honest. But I'm rounding this vlog up now because it might rain and I want to uh, put the foot down a little bit and uh, walk a bit quicker and get back. It's been a long walk. So how did I put this little thing together, cobbled it together, the uh, little mic, the little mic muff that I've made for the uh, GoPro media mod. And this entire vlog has been done using the GoPro media mod microphone with the DIY wind muff around it. So it was it was put together using double-sided sticky back plastic yeah i've always wanted to say that yeah it's a 3m double-sided sticky tape and i carefully put that around the microphone back and front and along the side all around it so what i've used there for the fur is a butchered um road video micro and that's the uh, dead cat from it which i have definitely killed it's it's a dead deader than dead dead cat uh yeah i so the sacrifice the sacrifice that i've made there is uh, i think a 40 quid dead cat that i've chopped up just to try and make a uh, wind muff for the uh, gopro hero 8 media module let me know what you think about the wind muff do you think they'll bring one out for it i hope they will it's a little bit of wind there now that's it for this vlog i upload a vlog every week so if it's the first time for you on my channel welcome and uh, consider subscribing and until the next one bye